Look, it's Heyman. We should bow down before we get into trouble. Mordecai, again you do not bow to me. I am second in command to the king. Everyone must bow to me, including you. I am a Jew, Haman, and I do not bow to you. Be careful, Mordecai. If you show me no respect, perhaps you would respect the gallows. So you will bow down to me, eh, Mordecai? Well, you'll bow down to me for sure. My king, there are many people in this land who do not follow you and do not follow your commands. They only follow their own commands. You should make a law that they should be destroyed. I will even pay the soldiers to do it. Okay, Haman. Make this decree and put my seal upon it. By the decree of King Ahasuerus, all the Jews, young, old, women, and children are to be put to death on the 13th month of Adar. The king is going to kill us. Why? We've done nothing wrong to him. Woe to the Jews. Woe to the children of Israel. We're undamned. Our enemies fit in ambush. Oh, Lord God, save us from destruction. Save us from this misery. <laughs> Do you hear that, Hatak? What is it? My queen, it is the Hebrews mourning. They put on sackcloth and ashes on, and Mordecai the Jew who saved the king's life is doing that too. Mordecai, are you sure? The queen commands you to make yourself presentable. He refused them. Why? Hatak returned to him, please, and asked him what troubles him. Ten thousand talents of silver. That's the price of our lives to the king. Go to Queen Esther and tell her Mordecai wants her to go before the king and plead with him for the lives of her people. But Hatak, I can't go before the king. It is forbidden for anyone to go before the king without being summoned, or else they'll be put to death. Perhaps he wouldn't listen to me. He hasn't sent for me in weeks. My queen, Mordecai also wanted me to tell you this. Don't think for a moment that because you're in the palace you will escape when all the other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at a time like this, Deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place, but you, and with you, your father's family will perish. Hadassah, 
Perhaps you have come to royalty for such a time as this. Go to Mordecai and tell him to gather all the Jews to be found in Susa. Tell him to fast on my behalf, neither eating nor drinking for three days, night or day. I will do the same. Then I will go to the king, though it is against his command. If I perish, I perish.